Good morning. Welcome to Shiloh. It's good to come to the house of the Lord on this October day. It's good to see the change of the seasons as we're getting ready, going through fall, and getting ready for winter. Let's go to the good Lord in prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, dear God, we thank you for this day. Thank you for your blessings of your Son, Jesus Christ, and ask your Holy Spirit to watch over us. Bless this time as we sing some good songs, read from your good book, and we pray for a message for me this morning. Lord, We pray that we would live in a land that is free. Not just our little community of Shiloh, but our county, our state, our country. That we are free to choose our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And we're free to choose unconditional love. Watch over us in these coming days and let people stand up for what's right, what is true, and what is just. Lord, we pray for our little church families that's growing. Daniel and Mickey with their marriage, Tristan and Dancy and Brittany, and all those that are going to come after us and let let those that come after us find us faithful. We give honor and praise for those who came before us. We pray for Miss Tommy, the saint of our church. We pray that you would put your healing hands upon those that are sick. All the illnesses going around and We pray for those that have lost loved ones, either in tragic circumstances or through illness or other means. We just ask, Lord, that you would be there. Shine the light in the darkness. Give that good feeling of love and comfort and grace when we need it the most. We pray for rain, Lord. We are living in a dry land. Protect our community from fires. Thank you for our firefighters and our first responders who have stepped up and answered the call. But we could use some rain, God. We could use some blessings. And you know our needs, so we are humbly coming before you. Just listen to us now. We know you're there. We affirm that this path, this communication, is eternal and ever-present and always there with us. Let us be in your presence all the days of our life. And most of all, let us be thankful for your Son, Jesus Christ. In his name we pray. Amen.
scripture reading this morning. Let us turn in our Bibles to the Gospel of John, the 14th chapter and the 6th verse. I say again, John 14 and verse 6. Listen now unto the word spoken by our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Jesus saith unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. Praise be unto the Lord our God for these words. Amen. If you would, please bow your heads in prayer. Great Master and Holy Father, we thank you for this day. We thank you for the ability to gather wherever we may be in your blessed and holy name. And even so, O Lord, we thank you that through your Son, Jesus Christ, you have shown us the the way to you, the truth of the path and the light by which we may walk. O Lord, I ask that in this age of conflicting doctrines, when all seek to turn us to their side, help us to remember that you and you alone are the way. You and you alone are the truth, and only you are our life. Help us to remember that, Lord. And I ask all of this in Jesus' name. Amen. Blessed assurance, Jesus is mine. What a foretaste of glory divine Heir of salvation Purchase of God Born of His Spirit Washed in His blood This is my story
Message this morning. We're going to go to the Gospel of John, John chapter 14, starting with verse 6. John 14, verse 6. Listen now to the words of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Jesus said unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man comes unto the Father but by me. If you had known me, you should know my Father also. And from here on out, you know him and you see him. Philip said unto him, Lord, show us the Father, if it be sufficient for us. Jesus said unto him, Have I not been so long with you, and ye have not known me, Philip? He that sees me has seen the Father. How then can you say, you not, How can you say, Show us the Father? Believe that I am the Father, and the Father in me. The words I speak in you are not of myself, but the Father that dwells in me, he does the works. Believe me that I am in the Father, and are the, and the Father in me or else believe me for the very work's sake. Praise be the Lord our God for these words. Amen. It's a simple phrase to say. Why do we make it so hard to believe when Jesus say, I am the way, the truth, and the life? No man comes to the Father but by me. Jesus is the way we get through this world. The truth is that God loves you, and we live a better life to Jesus. But so many times we say we want to see Philip sitting there going, show us the Father, and he Jesus looks at him and says, Have you not been with me? Have you not seen? Have you not heard? Even when Jesus is saying the I am, I am the way, I am the truth, I am the lie of the world, I am the bread of life, the seven I am statements, he is speaking the very name of God, I am, Elohim, I am, invoking the Father, saying the Father and he are one. And soon, just a few verses later, Jesus is going to give him the first th- the gift of the Holy Spirit that had always been there and they just didn't recognize it. But we look around and go, okay, why is it so hard to accept that the way through this world is through Jesus Christ? There is a universal truth. You are loved. And there is life everlasting through Jesus in the Father's house. The few verses of her above, he says, in my Father's house are many mansions. I go to prepare a place for you. 
that where I may be, you may be also. We like to say, oh, there's many ways to get there. There are many paths up the mountain. Well, there are many paths that lead that way because we all experience Jesus in our own way. We all experience God in our own way. We all experience the Holy Spirit in different ways and the gifts of the Spirit. But in the end, there is only one path, one trail that leads to the summit, that leads to the top of the mountain. It's like climbing Mount Everest. You may try the face, but you ain't going to make it. You may try to go straight up and fight the entire way, but you know what? You ain't going to reach it. There is one way. That way is through Jesus Christ. But the world and the devil has told us that we shouldn't accept that. The world has told us that God hates us. That life is unfair. And because it's unfair, we should run away and go hide and do our own thing and God does not accept you. All those things are lies. Jesus is there saying, I am the way. The way to get there is through Jesus Christ. How do we do that? The simplest way in the world. Accept that God loves you. Accept that Jesus loves me just like a little child. And be willing to share that love with others. It's love. Love makes the world go around. Unconditional love. Unconditional love. Accept that you are love and go share that love. And people go, but, 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 and start throwing things out there. And I said, but no. Start with the basics. God loves you. The truth is God loves you. God sent his son to save you. And the way through this world is through Jesus Christ. How we get, make it through this life. Because I have the words of a friend of mine. Oh, how's that life without him working out for you? It's not. We have a whole world of challenges that come against us. Whether we can pay the bills, whether we have enough to eat, whether we have a roof over our head. And then all these things add on top of it. And I'm going to go, who are you going to turn to? My answer is God. Through his son Jesus, letting the Holy Spirit lead our lives. We make things way too complicated when we just should accept that Jesus Christ is the way, the truth, and the life. And the way through this world leads through Jesus. The truth is that you are loved. And you will have a life everlasting if you follow Jesus Christ. I say this to you in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. There's a promise fulfilled for each and every one of us. I guarantee it will pay off one day, maybe in the middle of a pretty spring day, maybe me in the middle of a stormy day, maybe in the middle of a cloudless night. One day, that old sky is going to open up, and here comes that big old chariot with the mighty white horses, the flames, thunder lightning and the angel of the Lord riding that chariot right on down to you the angel's going to find you wherever you're at going to look at you and say this old earthly shell is done your time on earth is done your body has served you it's time for you to go home he's going to pick you up throw you on that chariot, ride you up there in front of them pearly gates, plop you down in front of St. Peter himself. He's going to pick you up, dust you off, take one look at you. He's going to ask you one question, and one question alone. Did you love my Jesus? Did you love my Jesus? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Well done, good and faithful servant. The old pearly gates are going to open wide. You can go right on in. You'll see your loved ones, your friends, your neighbors, people you didn't expect, even your enemies. Because God loves us all. That's why He sent His Son Jesus to save us. That's why He told us, I have prepared a place for you. You're going to see Jesus. He's going to say, there it is. There's that home for you.
you far beyond the shore. Welcome home. That's why I pray every day, every day. That old chariot swings mighty, mighty low. It carries each and every one of us home. Amen. Amen. Let us go forth this day knowing that Jesus and Jesus alone is the way, the truth, and the life. In his name go forth. Amen and amen. Amen.